Hi, McCall. I'm Dan Spencer. I'm one of the EdTech consultants over here at the Jackson County ISD and member of Team Jackson. And I'd like to introduce you to Shannon Deegan, who's the Director of Technology and Collaborative Services here at the Jackson County ISD, and also the architect of the Jackson County ISD Technology Consortium. This video is meant to share the story of Shannon's vision and leadership in creating what's called the JCISD Technology Consortium. And because of the work that he's done over the past five years, we want to nominate him for the 2015 McCall Technology Coordinator of the Year. Now, if we were to go in and share all of the details about the tech consortium, we just we wouldn't have time. But what we've done is we've created this banner, and you'll see this not only on the video, but also on the wiki that we've done to, for his portfolio. And what this has done is distilled all of his work down into three main points. The idea that he has created an 18 district technology consortium. That over five years, this consortium has shared more, or has saved more than five million dollars for districts who are a part of it. And more importantly, that this has renewed the focus on technology and teaching and learning in the classroom. When Shannon first started as Director of Technology, what he saw was that each district was in their own silo. And what I mean by that is everyone was doing the same thing, but they were doing it on their own. Every district had their own tech director, their own IT staff, they took care of their own networks. And Shannon thought, you know, what if there was a way that all of these districts could get rid of the redundancies, that they could work together while keeping their own aut autonomy, but work together so that they wouldn't be duplicating services. And that's where the goal of the consortium began. The idea of being able to provide instructional leadership, high quality support and reliable connectivity by coordinating all of those resources, which in turn is going to support teaching and learning in Jackson County schools. Shannon's vision for the consortium was twofold. First and foremost, this would save districts money by helping them be more efficient, but it also gives them more leverage that they didn't have before. If they could treat the consortium like a 30,000 student district, they would be able to do things and have access to opportunities that they never would have been able to afford on their own. But the second part of his vision was the most important. The idea that if this was done the right way, this could improve student achievement by not only improving access, but instructional support that districts didn't have before they were part of the consortium. Shannon always compares the consortium to a seesaw with one side being a focus on infrastructure and devices and the other side being a focus on integration and instruction. Now, before the consortium, many districts were so caught up in the logistics of infrastructure and devices that they didn't have the time, energy, or money to be able to focus on the technology integration piece. What the consortium did was allow them to not have to worry about the back end and to be able to focus more on the aspect of teaching and learning in the classroom. Districts that choose to be part of the consortium get much, much more than just break-fix support. There's still technicians in the building that are helping to fix technology issues as, as they arise, but they also have access to a service desk where they can get live help. There's an application support team that manages not just our countywide student information system, but also more than 80 other applications that are being used in districts. There's a state reporting team and a mobile device management expert. And finally, districts have access to our ed tech team where consultants have the freedom to go directly into classrooms and work with teachers on integration, coaching, and training. Here's a more detailed list of the other services provided to the consortium districts. But the most exciting part is the results. During the past five years the consortium has been in existence, the costs have remained fixed for districts. Last year, technicians and service desks addressed more than 23,000 tickets. The number of supported devices is now at over 16,000, an increase of 78%. Five years ago, there was one wireless network in the county, and it was at the ISD. Today, every district has wireless access, with nine being at density. Bandwidth use has skyrocketed, increasing 600% over those five years. Last year, the EdTechs spent more than 2,000 hours of face-to-face -face time working directly with teachers. And to cap it all off, every year we do a satisfaction survey. And out of the hundreds of teachers that respond to that, 84% have said that they are satisfied with the services received. 
Now that you have an idea about the scope of the consortium, here's where it stands today. Over the past five years, the consortium has grown beyond just Jackson County. There are now 18 participating school districts in both Jackson and Hillsdale counties, which represent more than 80 buildings and 30,000 students. Over the past five years, consortium districts have collectively saved more than $5 million. And because those districts pay for these services with general fund dollars, money saved can be re redirected to the classroom. But the most exciting part is the renewed focus on teaching and learning in the classroom. Because Shannon is a former teacher, he has a unique perspective on the challenges that teachers face when integrating technology into the classroom. And that's why, since the beginning, Shannon's felt that technology integration plays just as important of a role as the tech services in order for the consortium to be successful. So remember that seesaw example that I'd mentioned earlier? Before the consortium, there were no full-time integration specialists anywhere in Jackson County, but that's changed. Myself, Stacy Shu, and Brad Wilson now work together as a team of ed tech consultants who work directly with teachers in the consortium. Last year, our team spent more than 2,000 face-to-face hours working with teachers, and we expect that number to nearly double this year. But in addition to that, Shannon's emphasized the importance of building teacher leaders in our districts. Through his leadership, we've created and hosted several conferences where sessions are led by Jackson and Hillsdale teachers, sharing their experiences with technology integration in the classroom and building their confidence to be tech leaders and mentors for their colleagues. So after leading the way for the creation of an 18 district technology consortium, saving those districts more than $5 million, and helping them refocus their efforts on using tech to improve teaching and learning in the classroom, we feel that Shannon Deegan would be an excellent representative for the 2015 McCall Technology Coordinator of the Year.